So we're here at the RWA dinghy and water sports show um, and it's actually really good, it's really packed today which is why we're on top of the pub here because uh, it's a little bit loud down below um, especially near the rooster stand as Steve wants me to say. Um, now here's one interesting question Steve, is obviously I saw you at the 500 I think nationals or something last year in Weymouth and we talked about compasses a little bit and you were adamant that the, um, the sort of delayed digital compass was not the right thing and that, that you had I'm not quite sure what your solution was, I just remember you didn't like them. Can you go into that a little bit? Okay, uh, my, I have to say that I'm old school, so I've used digital compasses before, but when I've used them, I find that they kind of don't respond. You don't, I mean, we're all analog beings and we understand as we do this, we see something move and we can feel the movement. With a digital compass, because it can't show a number moving, it tends to take out the, what they call jitter, it averages the, the, yeah. the number over 10 seconds. So you get a bit of a move and it doesn't show you how significant that move is for maybe five or six seconds. And in an anal in a analog compass, you see the move and you see the effect of it very quickly because it happens straight away, instantaneous. Um, and I, I used to be like, come on compass, I'm sure that's a header and then it would tell me a bit later. So. I've always gone back to the analog compass, and um, I don't know if you remember, or you, you have those days where you, you're sailing along and you get a bit of a lift, and you go back to normal again, and then you get a bit more of a lift, and it goes back again, you think, oh, something big is happening. You get that feeling that there's something possible about to change in a big way, and it's then that the analog just gives me that feeling that, you know, I'm on a five, I did a seven. Oh, back to a five again. I did a nine, what the hell's going on? It's all gonna go right and horrible in a second. Let's take a left, you know, that sort of feeling. Yeah. Um, which I don't think I get from a, a, a digital compass. So I am an old school analog compass sailor. That's interesting because I, I find that, well, the, my first thought from what you said was, if you're gonna get the delay on the compass and you're gonna be like, oh, come on compass, I know that was a header. Do you not Just know it's anyway? a header anyway yes. so for me what I find useful about the numbers is it tells you hard cold fact right in front of you lots of people think they get lifted then they don't know what the lift they're on because they don't keep track and their brains trying to think about so many other boats around the whole time and what you're gonna do next and how to sail the boat quick that actually you forget you can't just log everything in your mind about what what it is and what's good and what's bad I think that's what I find people sail the tactic compass don't they with uh, in in direction mode so yeah. you have to remember two numbers. Yeah. And I'm, I'm a one number man. <laughs> I can't carry more than one thing at a time. And, a, and, a, and an analog compass will just say five or 15 and I just have that number in my head and that, that'll do me for the day. See, I could do two numbers. I think that's no, my that's limit, but I could do. <laughs> professional, so yeah, that's what it is. 